Yeah, you absolutely. Would that be okay? That would be great. Okay, you can show what you just bought. Oh, I love it. That's really awesome. It is. A, it is. A, what is? What's your name? Okay. And what's your favorite car? A Porsche. A Porsche? Or, or this one? No, a Ford GT. Right. Ford GT is your favorite. All right. So, and there's the dad right there. How are you doing? So, there's the parents. They actually said on his Christmas list he wanted to meet me. This is one of the biggest honors I've had all year. So thank you for that, sir. Thank you very much. Hey, shake his hand. Hey, shake his hand. You ready for a picture? Yeah. Let's point at the camera. Can you point at it? Say hi. out of the park what 10 12 there years was, ago uh, i think you just bad mother you yeah. just you just changed thank the bar you. thank you uh you know what this is uh built for ernie bach jr out of boston he owns boston ferrari and a bunch of the dealerships subaru and so forth and he has three of these cars and he says dave i want you to build me a car as it were and, but he's six foot three he doesn't fit in these cars i barely fit in five foot ten right. so we cut the car in half added uh, four inches of length right between the uh, the pillars of the doors God, that is put so a roadster shop chassis under it all push rod cantilever reservoir shocks fully adjustable one off built special wheels i designed carbon ceramic brakes it's got a coyote 50 four gt transaxle from the 0506 model right 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 lots of uh classy settle changes to the body so shower glass the body oh we cut the entire floor and this is so a you dropped the car. floor because the guy's so tall all of it yeah. yeah we dropped the floor we actually cut the whole floor out and built a new floor around it belly pan the car afterwards so this car can actually sit a six foot three guy in there he, he likes to track the car uh, it's got plenty of power air conditioning a nice stereo system That's and it looks cool you knocked it out of park again yeah. so how many thousands of hours was that uh it was about a seven thousand hour building seven thousand yeah it's just some crap we threw together though you know <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm this is you. actually truly, as a kid growing up, this was really one of my dream cars. Italian design, American power, and we really kind of wrapped all of it up. We kept it looking something like it would have been from the early 70s. Sure. With the chrome bumpers and some of the Well, the wheels the are Thank amazing. You. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely amazing. Well, the chrome touches around the, the, the front grille openings. We actually made the front face of this car functional. So we have air ducts that are all 3D printed going in behind the brakes. It's all carbon ceramic, Willwoods, front and back. We've got a big radiator from Ron Davis, big fans. Everything exits through the outside of the uh, vents here. You gotta hear the trunk shut. It sounds like a brand new Rolls Royce. And Ron Davis it amazing. Drops. Oh, he's, he's awesome. I have thrown him some big old curveballs. No stress. Nope. No I stress. Us, no problem. No. Nope. You have it in two weeks. I'm like, <laughs> okay. So Wait, he guys like this. in two weeks? Yeah. <laughs> Ron. No, I'm kidding. Well, I'm doing Jeep stuff. It's a little bit easier. Right, right, so right. guys like this really do exist. He really is at Barry Jackson, and you really can walk up and talk to him. Honor to see you. Dennis always Honor to know you. Yeah, that's cool. And he talks more than me. Hey! <laughs> we know somebody who talks a lot more, though. Hey! <laughs> it's day three, and we're at Barry Jackson. We're going to sell our first car, the 2021 Superstock F8 Green, which you've seen earlier. You know the options. So let's watch it sell.
we are. This is James, this is Mike, there's one more, Chad, he's not here, but at least you got three of us. One each. <laughs> Oh my. 
So, this was very unusual for me to do this. <laughs> I actually bought that at Barrett Jackson in Houston, then brought it here and sold it at Scottsdale. It was a push, but that's okay, because the Superstock did great, and the Camaro Convertible did great, and now we've got two Jeeps coming up and the Starskin Hutch car. So overall, we're killing it. Can we do a picture really uh, quick? Absolutely. Would that be okay? Just that would be great. Okay. Okay. okay, you can show what you just bought. Yeah. I love it. That's I'm so really sorry awesome. I'm so sorry about your day. It's so cool. It ready? is. A, it is. A, what's, what's your name? Okay. okay. And what's your favorite car? Ford. Yeah. A Porsche? Or, or this no, one? No, a Ford GT, right? Ford GT is yeah. your favorite? Yeah. Alright, so. Yeah. And there's the dad right there. Yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> so, there's the parents. They actually said on his Christmas. Christmas list, he wanted to meet me. Yeah, he this is one of the biggest that. honors I've had all year, so thank you for that, sir. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> hey, shake his hand. Hey, shake his hand. Put your phone away. Shake his hand. All right, you ready for a picture? Yeah. Let's okay. point at the camera. Can you point at it? Thank you, sir. Nice thank to meet you. Thank you so much. Have yeah. a great day. Yeah, no worries. Thank How are you, you doing? I've got, I've got to do that. So I literally ran up to the block, and I'm not very fast, so that's a loose term. We sold the Sunbeam Tiger. What is that Well, 47. We bought it for 42. Which I never put the numbers out there, but you guys have already seen that because we bought it at Barrett Jackson in Houston and sold it here. It's very unusual for me to do that, but it is what it is. Now we've got our killer CJ5 in line, and then we've got our Scrammer coming up, and the last car of the day is Starskin Hutch. So stay tuned. They love you, sir. They love you. How are you? Jackson, say hi. Good? Say hi. Okay, I gotta get a picture. Hi. How do you know coffee walks on on Friday? And it's Friday. You guys yes. send me an email, and I'll remember who you are. I'll send you a t-shirt. You're awesome. Okay? Thank you so much. Man. Send me an email. I'll send you a t-shirt. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. Thank you very much. Absolutely. So I'm looking at this scramble, which I absolutely love. We built this a long time ago. It shows the quality of our work, how it's lasted over time. But I just noticed something that either Kelsey or Zach did, which I think is incredibly cool. So all the restaurants that we visited over time in the last, whatever, 182 episodes, we have now sent them those stickers. So when you go to that restaurant, you can scan that QR code and see the episode. I think that's cool. Way to go, Kelsey and Zach. Where's the Jeep? Uh, our CJ5s. We're running a little late today. It's been a long couple days. Get yeah. water. <laughs> okay, let's go get you water. Where did you get that shirt? <laughs> are you kidding? It's going to be an outstanding hey, day, though. Good, sir. How are you? What are you doing? That is a good result. Look at that. Outstanding! 
So CJ5 did really well. It was a great team. It was super nice. It was actually one of Kelsey's favorite in the collection. Um, Probably, I mean, we do original Jeep, so it's hard to really compare that to what, what we do in the restorations right. that we do. But that was so ornate. Like, I hopefully I'll get Zach to hopefully pop up some pictures of the interior as we're talking about it right now. But it was the, the alligator skin inside and everything was just, the chef knob was hand carved. It was, it was very nicely done. But the reason we took two custom Jeeps here, which we do also build custom Jeeps for customers, but our forte and our specialty is OE stock. So that's why we brought those here because we felt like people needed to see them in person instead of trying to sell them on the internet. And it was a good result. Actually, it was outstanding. Bless. So Kelsey gets me all the time on the dad joke. She dad sneezes. I dad sneeze so hard. So our scrammer is close to being on the block. And we talked about this a little bit before, but I'm incredibly proud because the people have seen it and it's like, wow, that restoration is amazing. And we did it 16 years ago. It's, it's still killer in it, Alex. So I mean, we have always done the very, very best CJ restorations in the world. So let's see what a 16-year-old Collins Brothers restoration brings. My favorite. So apparently the Bronco market is still a little bit stronger than the Jeep market, but we're going to get it there. But again, I'm still as proud of that Jeep. We built it 16 years ago. Still brought $50,000, which is a little bit under what I hope, but it's okay. Uh, Jeeps are strong and they're going up. So now off to the Starsky Hutch car. Two years doing it. I mean, it was like a full rotisserie deal. I mean, he put his heart and soul in it. Yeah. And then our, uh, we have a local DJ in Dallas who's syndicated, is very famous. Yeah. This is where he drove to work. Really? So it's been all really? sorted out. It's got, it's been driven quite a bit. Yeah. But to me, it's probably better. Yeah. As opposed to, it's, it's not a fresh build. Yeah. But it's, you know, broken in, if you will. Yeah. 351, it runs, it's strong. Um, it was a rush free California car when I started with it. So, really no negative backstory to it at all. Absolutely. If you wanted to yeah. see the... I'm, my name's Hutch. Okay. Hutch with uh, Classic Car Attic. I'm here in Mesa. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Nice to meet you, yeah. sir. You too. Uh -huh. Sitting around, I got my video guys down there. So Very good. Yeah, we come back and do a chat. How long are you here for? Are you leaving out tomorrow? Or? Uh, yeah, I'll leave tomorrow. Yeah. I'll leave tomorrow. Yeah. But yeah, I actually know you are. It's nice yeah. to meet you in person. Absolutely. Thank you. 
another good point. Down 25. Have a good time. Bond, 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 25 pounds. Another 25. Bond, 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 25 pounds. Another 25. Down another 25. Bond, 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 25 pounds. Have a good time. 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 Be right back. What is that, sir? Beet and burrata. So it's going to be golden beets on a, with the burrata on a bed of arugula with some hibiscus honey. You don't see that every day. Right? That looks like something Alex would really enjoy. Oh, no, that is all you two. <laughs> <laughs> Love spinach arjo dip. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be our Tuscan meatball right here. Perfect. So it does good for you guys at the moment. Great. I think we're looking good for right now. Silver. Got drinks. All good. Thank so, you. A little family snippet. Kelsey and her brother Connor get along extremely well, but they will fight over spinach arjo dip. Yeah, we always have. Houston's the best. You know what, Alex? No risk, no reward. This might be the most incredible culinary experience of my life. That's all you. And you guys aren't going to try it. Here we go. Is this the best bite? We'll have to find out. Get the uh, Western bacon, no onion, with uh, regular fries. Are you okay with the onion ring, though? Oh, no onion ring. Okay. Alex, what's wrong with you? A lot of things. <laughs> Did you not see that? It's oh, sorry. Uh, it's scratch the fries, I want mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. <laughs> I'll do the steak sandwich, because it sounds incredible. But I gotta have the Western bacon also.
sea salt vinegar. It's one of my favorite chips, which I'm a chipaholic. Let's see how those are. Awesome. Got the Western burger. Mm. So, growing up, my dad taught me that if you had something that you couldn't handle, smash it. Yep. Okay, never good. Big onion ring inside of it, too. It's like a gourmet burger, Kels. Mine's good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Medium rare, perfect. A tenderloin sandwich. So one of the favorite things my wife cooks is tenderloin. Caught it in a biscuit. This is like a big tenderloin in a biscuit. Give it the proper smash. Uh oh, a mess. You just can't beat tenderloin. There's just no way. How is it? 